Hi guys, uh, welcome to Littles and Loving It. So today I am meal prepping. Uh, I haven't meal prepped since before Thanksgiving and it's January 4th, so it's been quite a, quite a bit of time. Uh, but today I'm prepping for four days because today we're gonna have dinner at my mother-in-law's house. So I'm pre prepping for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, I'm gonna be making meatballs and tuna patties kind of similar to like salmon croquet or, or whatever crab cakes I guess except with tuna um, I'm gonna be preparing rice um, I'm not gonna be preparing the vegetables because I'm just gonna cook them on the day of I'll just kind of do like a quick walkthrough how I would prepare I'm gonna be making broccoli and just um, some green beans and I do have here some uh, black beans that are soaking in hot water that's gonna be for um, my salad. I'm gonna make a chicken salad um, for lunch. So I shall be right back. And this is what we have here. So I'm gonna put the ground beef in here, the tuna in here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here. Probably the chick or the um, veggies, maybe. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. Maybe the eggs, which I have to get out of the refrigerator. But I have a bell pepper and an onion. It's going to go for, it's going to go in the tuna and in the uh, ground beef. Um, this is what I put on my vegetable. Oh, I'm sorry. This is what I put on my vegetables. My mother-in-law gave it to me, and it's so good. Um, this is going to be for the... Meatballs because I'm gonna toss them in barbecue sauce when they're finished cooking. I'm gonna put this on the chicken and bake it. And these are the black beans, it looks really gross, but they're just soaking in hot water. Then I'll cook them after they soak for, for a bit. Um, but yeah, this is for the chicken. I'm gonna put the black beans in the salad as well. Um, this is just some minced onion, minced garlic. I'm probably gonna use the rest of this and then open this one. Um, here's the rice. Here is the tuna. I get the tuna. I believe this is in water. Yeah. The tuna is up. Oh, is it gonna? Is it gonna focus? It's not. Is it? No. Let's see here. How do I make it? There we go. Yeah. The tuna's in water. Then vegetable oil, and then this is the ground beef, and this is a piece of chicken. Um, so I'm just going to get started and I will come back when all the veggies are chopped up and the meat is in its respective containers. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. I, um, put the ground beef in here and I added one egg. I opened up the two cans of tuna. I added one egg in here. I cut up, uh... It might have, been, might have been like a medium sized onion and half of a bell pepper. And this is also about two, yep, about two tablespoons of garlic. Because me and the hubby love garlic. Um, I have the, I have the rice going here. And here it, um, is a little bit of oil. I have it going for the, um, onions and bell peppers I'm gonna mince them I mean not mince them I'm gonna saute them um, but I'm gonna put this stuff in the ground beef and I really don't I really don't measure it's just home cooking you know do it how you like a little bit of minced onion just a little bit because we are adding onions. I just really like cooked onions and so do my so does my husband. And then we have some salt. And pepper. That's it. There we go. And then the only thing that's going to get added to the tuna is um, these vegetables. So I'm going to go over here and 
saute them and hopefully I do not burn myself. Turn the stove down a little bit. Oh, I already turned it down. Okay. Yeah. I have a. This is a gas stove, and before I um, before we moved to this house, I'd never used a gas stove before. And I, I don't know how I feel about it really, because it it definitely cooks faster than an electric stove, but sometimes that's not always a good thing. And then this stove, it basically has two settings. It has high and off. <laughs> so, when we buy a house, I want like a really nice stove. But we just rent for now. So, I'm going to let this saute. Um, and when it's just about done, I'm going to add the garlic. Garlic doesn't take a long time to cook and it burns. So, okay, my bad. So the memory on my phone, because I recorded with my phone, got full, so I had to delete some stuff. So anyway, I was just saying that the garlic cooks fast, so I added last. So I'm going to um, just let this saute, and then I'll add the garlic, and then um, I'm going to come back. I'm probably going to add about a third of this uh, to the tuna. And the rest of it is gonna go in the um, in the um, meatballs. But um, I'll come back when it's all uh, ready to go. Bye. Okay, now here we have it. This is the um, onions, the bell peppers, and the garlic. Um, the rest of this is going to go in the tuna. I just didn't put it in there because it's still hot and I don't want to cook the egg. I put the majority of it, as you can see, in the um, ground beef. I also added another egg to the ground beef because it, it wasn't enough when I um, mixed it together. Uh, it just wasn't enough. So I'm going to mix this up. And I'm going to see if I can get my hubby to come record me for a minute while I just roll the meatballs into balls and place them on the baking sheet so I can go ahead and cook them. So I'll be right back. Okay, hubby help me get a little bootleg uh, setup going. So this is good. This is good news. So now I'm just going to take the uh, meatballs and or the ground beef rather and make them into balls. Roll them up. And I'm not really even sure how many this is going to make, but we shall see. That one's kind of big. I, um, these are so good. I love these. And it's, like, you can use the lean meat. Um, I probably should have used ground turkey, but this is what we had, so. This is what I'm using. And just, that's a little bit much. My hubby likes these too, so. And they're a nice, a nice size. So. I'm just gonna. Thank you, baby. I didn't know how I was gonna, you know, do this without having a tripod. You is smart. <laughs> you is pretty. You is important. I told y'all my hubby he be holding me down, so. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like whatever I want, he tries to make it happen. Cause he love me. <laughs> So the good thing for me about meal prepping is like if it's not convenient, 
If it's not convenient, I just won't do it. I won't get it done. That is what uh, it's taken me 26 years to realize about myself. If it's not convenient, I'm just not going to get it done. So, I meal prep. I'll meal prep once a week. And then clean the kitchen. And for the most part, it stays clean. Um, and then, like, if I have cooked food already, like, ready to go in the microwave or whatever, then I'm less likely to uh, want to go eat out, like, every day. I still like to eat out, of course. But I just like to be out, you know. And so... Um, when I meal prep though, I'm less likely to do that. And baby, you like when I meal prep, right? <laughs> he likes it. And it smells so good. The um, the sauté veggies smells so good. Okay. <laughs> so this made twelve meatballs but they're pretty big so I have some left over and some of the smaller ones and it just smells so good so um before I started cooking I preheated the oven on 350 so I'm gonna just uh, wash my hands and then pop these into they look so disgusting <laughs> I'm going to just wash my hands and then pop these into the oven. Okay, hands are clean. See? Clean hands. Now I'm going to just um, pop these into my oven for about 20 minutes and then I'll check them and see if they need to go for longer. Okay, now while that's going, I am going to... Um, Start on the tuna. These are really for me. My husband doesn't like them so much. I'm gonna. You see the um the water right there? I know some of that is the yolk from the egg. I'm gonna just drain that out a little bit more into my sink. Okay, so, I really don't need this, I'm going to take, these are those um, veggies, they're nice and cool now, so I'm not afraid they'll, um, I'm not afraid they'll cook the egg, so I'm just going to dump these in here, and I'm not even going to have time to clean my kitchen, because we got to go, we got to head out in a minute, um, okay, so that's that, and I'm trying to make some room on the counter. 
Um, oh. And I have a plate. So I'm just going to make the patties and put them on the plate and then take them over to the stove and show you guys um, how I do it. So just mixing it together. Some people use um, breadcrumbs and I have, I typically use breadcrumbs, but I'm trying to be really, 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 really light on the carbs. And um, we didn't have any brown rice, we had white rice. So I was like, no, um, no breadcrumbs in here today. So hopefully the egg will do its job and, um, you know, keep them together. So I'm going to just take the tuna and just flatten it out into a little patty. And these just taste so good to me. You can put a little tartar sauce with them. But I like, I like them plain, but I like them with tartar sauce too. So it's just however you want it. So. This tuna patties. And I might end up having to actually cook on Friday. Um, looking at the amount of, um, uh, what do you call those things? The meatballs I made. But I'm fine with that. It's Friday. Because I work at night, I work in a warehouse, and um, I mean, I get home at like four in the morning, so I don't work completely overnight, but um, sometimes, because like when my husband goes back to work, actually tomorrow, it'll be his first day back, um, I have to get up with Jade, and she gets up at nine, so... It's easy to just kind of know that I can just deal with her and work out and not be like super, super exhausted because I know that dinner's done. So it's not a, um, I don't have to run myself ragged basically trying to not be sleepy and take care of my little toddler and make sure dinner's done. Okay, so that made four. I probably should have used one more can of tuna, but I have like four more cans in there, so. I'm going to just wash my hands again. And I'm going Okay, and she's back with, hold on, with clean hands, see, clean hands. Okay, now I'm going to move you guys over to my stove. So, there we go. Okay, that's the same, um, the same pan I used to um, do the veggies. Where is? Oh. And my sister got us some um, stainless steel cookware. This is um, part of that set for Christmas, and um, some um, utensils. And I love this spatula. We had two spatulas. I had burned them back before I knew how to cook. I had left it in some grease. I didn't know I couldn't do that with plastic. And it burned. I think that's how I burned both of them, actually. So, yeah. I'm going to use about a cap full of oil. And this is ve uh, vegetable oil. Everyday Essentials. I think I got it from um, Little Giant. You know, the store, the store brand or whatever this, um, you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to just let that heat up. And actually while that's heating up, I'm going to um, go ahead and try to straighten up my kitchen for like five seconds.
Okay, okay, and my battery or my phone storage um, filled up again, so I had to delete some more stuff. But it's okay. It's stuff that I already have saved. So, anyways, <laughs> um, the oil is ready, so I'm just gonna drop the um, the patties in here. Just try not to burn yourself. Uh, that's easier said than done for me. <laughs> I just try to gently place them in there and uh, let it do its thing. I hope it up so these don't break apart because I didn't use the right side. For the most part, once you put them in there. You just want to um, leave them there, although that's not what I'm doing. Because I'm concerned they might break apart. Yeah. So, yeah, you just want to leave them in there, let them cook for maybe two minutes or so, and then flip them. I'm going to just try to straighten up my kitchen as much as possible. Oh, and I forgot to mention the days that my, um, the days that I eat these, I'm just going to make, um, some pot for my husband because he doesn't like these. So, hey, look, it almost didn't fall apart. <laughs> just almost. <laughs> just hold on. Just trying to stay together. There we go. Clearly, I am not a chef. Just a wife and mother. I remember <laughs> before um, before I got married, and my husband and I moved into our first house together. I was like, oh, I'm gonna cook and take care of the kitchen and you just do the other stuff around the house. And I swear y'all if he holds me to that. Okay, so my phone started acting really stupid and it cut the video off. But the last thing I think you all saw was when I was just doing the um, tuna patties so I finished those and um, here are the meatballs they look really really good I have to go but when I come back I'm gonna just put them in a bowl with some um, barbecue sauce and shake them up and I'm just gonna leave them in that Tupperware and then here's the rice and of course like I said I cooked the vegetables on the day of I'm just, I'm just gonna have some um, broccoli this week and I'm just gonna bake it um, Let's see. Now all this, I'm not going to separate it into um, their own containers because I just don't want a whole bunch of Tupperware in the refrigerator like that. I'm just going to put all these in one container. These will stay in this. I'll put the top on it and this will stay in here. This is the rice. Um, and on the day of, I'll just get out a plate, take out however many meatballs I'm going to have, or I'll have two patties and the rice and the vegetables and put it on a plate and eat it like that. Um... And that's about it this I may end up having to cook a little bit more food I, it's been a minute since I prepped um, 
but this will at least get us um, two days, probably get us about three days, because my husband is going to have the cod on the day that I have the tuna. So it's been real, y'all. Um, thank you for watching this video, um, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.